Hey guys, Proper English here, and as you can see, I've decided to live in my rotational shifter. It's fully furnished, complete with TNT piles, a cactus, and even comes equipped with Redstone Warrior as a prisoner. So let's step outside and I can show you how this monstrosity works. Now, as we fly under, let's take a look up and you can see how utterly absurd the wiring is. The logic is easy, the wiring, holy crap, it's ridiculous. So let's take a look at what we're working with here. The main component to the shifter is that loop you see in the middle. It's a memory cell called a basal flop. If we turn it on, you see, it holds a signal. It's a memory cell. On each side, we've got an AND gate that allows us to send the signal in one direction or the other. The second piston in the middle, uh, that resets the basal flop. So we're just shifting around signals. That's, the, that's how the shifter works. You shift signals one way or the other. So let's try it. And there it goes. It's as simple as that. You're using AND gates to determine whether you're sending it to the left or to the right, counterclockwise or clockwise. The only thing that makes it tricky is the wiring. You have to set it up so that each pixel in, uh, in a quadrant is connected to the corresponding pixel in both adjacent quadrants. And that's ridiculous. It really, really is crazy. Let's just, let's take another look at what this thing looks like. It's so, so, so congested. This is the most congested wiring that I've ever worked on. And I mean, it was fun for a while, but then it got, uh, got a little tricky. So um, I'll head back to my home and take a look at the prisoner. And he escaped. I guess it's time to go redstone warrior hunting.